Hi everyone, welcome to the next Fallout 3 section. Yippee! Fortnite und Cola. Yippee! We're really close to full level. To max level. We're just uh, a, a stone throws away. <clears throat> oh. Okay, that'll be fun. Okay, our current quest is to console command FOV90. And then our second quest is to Yerma. Uh, Yerma? My second quest is to go to the gosh dang uh, Nuka Cola plant, if I can find it. Really forgot where it was. I thought it was, like, not over here, but it might be. I know the it, like, the red racer factory is connected to the... Oh, there it is. Oh, the nuka -Cola plant's, like, somewhat disconnected from the... Well, I mean, okay, it definitely doesn't look like that from... Oh. Woo that. Here, let me get a closer look at who that is. Let's take a closer look at that snap. I think that's either a regular raider or part of this like weird faction called like Overtime. Uh, critical hit on a raider. Okay, so it was a regular raider. This quest line that I'm about to do. That's something I was thinking about. I need to start making sure I don't pick up junk weapons. I know never to pick up a lot of the uh, <clears throat> armor. Usually I pick up all the the junk items, the junk weapons. Oh god! Crit. <laughs> I know you always drink on Fridays, Maple. Uh oh. Nice. Got a manifest. Welcome to the Nuke of Cola factory. Oh. Well. Looks like it's going to be one of these situations. Well, happy Friday, Maple. Oh. Happy Moomin Friday. Oh, these poor rubes. No clue. These custom... Protectrons that don't exist anywhere else in the game. These beautiful uh, pieces of history that should be preserved. I'm just gonna vaporize them. When they least expect it to. Look at how pretty this one is. What a what a vintage. Goodbye. No. I think there's one, like, right above me. In there. Uh-oh. Okay. Like how jumping doesn't affect my sneak. Like, I'm still crouched if I'm jumping. I know that. Um, I'm still hidden when I'm jumping. As if I was doing the crouched effect. Hi. Oh my gosh, three scrap. Never pick up jump junk again.
have a feeling you might be drinking. Oh, by the way, hi everyone who's watching this stream. <laughs> I mean, watching this Fallout episode. Ah! This video upload that's not a stream. Uh, there's now on-screen chat, so get excited for that. And I'll get to see all the for pos posteriority. All the chats that appear in my uh, streams. Anywho, um... I was gonna ask before I had to say the word posterior. That kind of distracted me for some reason. Oh, Hello there, am I low? Employee. I don't believe we've met. I'm your factory foreman, Milo. Oh yeah. It's a pleasure to meet you. I was just gonna say, are you drinking Please cranberry give me tonight? Your job posting title and employee registration number. For oh, time my to be a permanent records. Time to yep, speech or robot. Oh hell yeah. The only time I've used this, or one of the no, there's a few times I can use this actually. Like, a bunch of times, now that I recall. It's a few, like, named robots. And protocol Delta 5-3 disengage security program. Command accepted. Security program disengaged. Nice. Yes, fellow employee? What can I do for you on this wonderful day? Wonderful. What do you know about the Nuka-Cola bottling facility? This facility is a stunning accomplishment by the creative minds at the Nuka Cola Corporation. See, so you can do comedy just they through delivery. Cutting edge equipment to keep the world's most popular soft drink in full production 24 hours a day. Okay. This unit prides itself on over 457 oh. days without a single death or major limb loss. I'm about of to fix that. Personnel. I think today I, I really fixed that number. Uh. Okay, how about what do you know about these Nuka-Cola Quantums? I gotta know. This product is the pinnacle of taste sensation. 17 fruit flavors and that signature cola taste blend to form the perfect refreshing Bring soft drink. Bring the Dr. Pepper, strawberries and cream, zero sugar right now. It's got that unique kick to keep you on your toes. It's kind of coated like one of these Nuka-Colas. Not that it's see-through and glowing, but just the flavor he described. Because it's like Dr. Pepper is known to have like a bajillion, like 31 or whatever different flavors, they say. I don't know, excuse me, what that number means, but either way, it causes me to burp, so. Um, there's that many, and he was saying, like, a bunch of flavors. And also strawberry here, taking the, taking the main stage with this strawberries and cream zero sugar flavor. I'm looking for the factory shipping manifests. That information is in the shipping computer oh. terminal. The passcode for the terminal oh, cool. is NC, C... One eight six four. Eighteen sixty four. Have a one. Oh, I'll be productive, all right. I have a few things I need to get done. You know what I mean. I need to I need to be doing some things productively. I need to be patting my stomach and wait, fuck! It's patting your head and rubbing your stomach at the same time. I need to be doing that also reading this magazine about tumblr the best way to read tumblr blogs is through in magazine form no doubt shipping speaking of shipping uh quantum test shipments make sure the initial test shipments of quantum are sent to the following locations among with along with the standard marketing package paradise falls shopping mart yep super duper mart yep Old Olnry Grocery. Okay. I don't know if I went there, but I kind of have an aversion to go there because there's this one guy that'll die if I go there, but I might just clear out the death claws, I guess, to keep him alive. It doesn't matter. I don't know. Regardless, um, this was just to get this, like, information for the optional part of the quest. It's not really important. Um, these first three locations in, DC, in the DC area will be known as the testing sites A, B, and C. All... In all intercompany, in okay, it'll be referred to that in all intercompany communications. Use the data encoded with this message to mark your maps. Oh, that's funny. Uh, company announcement: The Nuka Cola Corporation is pleased to announce to all its employees that the first shipments of our Nuka Cola Quantum are on their way to the retailers in the Washington D.C. area. This flagship test market program is cumula is a, the accumulation of a three-year research program to bring the refreshing taste of quantum to market 
Congratulations to all employees on the job. Well done. From marketing. The following locations have been accepted into the flagship Nuka Cola Quantum Test Program. Please ensure that one one crate of quantum is included with their regular deliveries along with the advertised package provided by our marketing department. Yep. Cool. That's somewhat pog. You too, Milo. You, you're somewhat pog. That'll do, Milo. Hey, hey, up high, Milo. Let's have down low. Is anyone out there? Hello. <laughs> Uh, I saw one more red dot. <clears throat> oh. Good. They didn't see me on my blinding bar of light. Scanning for All clear. Nice. All clear like the taste of Nuka Cola Quantum. Love the scrap metal. I was looking up the how long to beat for Fallout uh, 3. And with DLCs, I guess. I mean, they said completionist run. <laughs> it's gonna be, uh... It's gonna be an embarrassing amount of time I'm gonna be dedicating to another run of Fallout 3. But there's a pretty encompassing one with how completionist it's been. So, hopefully I'll, I won't feel the need to do this for a few years more. Maybe I'll do it again on stream, who knows? Wouldn't you love to see the return of all of this again? In the same game? I know I would, because I like this game. I like it. Um. Um. Oh. Well, let's generate some Nuka Colas. Oh, they didn't see me balancing on my wall. Yay. Thank you, Maple. I need to see that sometime soon. Um, I want to say is, so, it's 116 hours, I think, was the how long to beat completionist run. And I'm, like, a little bit over the halfway mark if we're talking about how many hours are in the, uh, the video uploads that I've done of this. I, I did the, like, I have the playlist up till this episode, this current stream we're doing, whatever. I can never think of a proper name to call this. Uh, the uploads. Let's say Vital. Okay, it's AL. Loyal. Okay, it's AL. Yep. What, what I'm saying is that, that that playlist that has all of them... Steel. Yay, raccoon. Is, uh, like, about 60 hours. <laughs> so, doing the math there. Oh my gosh, company now announcements. Activate packing line. Ooh. Uh, this is a fun little... Hold on, let's save this. Oh, you were a day off from seeing Maple on her ball. Oh, oh no, you're talking... Well, yes, that, but also you're talking about the Friday thing. You thought it was Friday, huh? <laughs> I I do that. I've, I've confused days a bunch before, you know. I mean, who, who here has not cast the first cow? Company announcement. Yep. Uh, pack, packing line instructions. Welcome to the Nuka Cola Packing Line Operator Station. You are now instrumental in getting Nuka Cola from our factory to our the public, so please read the simple instructions below. If you need assistance, please call X347 and ask for your line supervisor. Oh, wow. Nice, Riku. Access the packing terminal and choose desired inventory to load into sorting units. Press activate packing unit. Monitor the packing line by listening for things such as mechanical screeching, explosions, and or human cries for help. Or, if there is any emergency, do not panic. Simply call X347 and ask for your line supervisor. The packing line will automatically shut down in the event of an issue. Remember, only you can prevent inventory loss by being attentive and vigilant. Packing line notice. Oh god. Attention to all packing line employees. 
Due to an oversight by the design department, the new Nuka-Cola Quantum bottles are slightly heavier than the standard Nuka-Cola bottles. As a result, the packing line is prone to jams and may cause damage to the equipment. Please do not load Nuka-Cola Quantum bottles into the sorting units until further notice. All test samples of Quantum will be packed by our hand until the solution is reached. Taller, huh? I wonder if that's actually... Uh, well, guess what? Guess what we're gonna do? Warning system error. Nice. Still generates one of each. Hell yeah. Let's see. Call technician immediately. Okay. I want to reload that. We'll probably go with that situation, but I'm curious to see what happens if we do with Nuka Colas first. Load. Oh, inventory depleted. Just activate. Nope, okay, cool. So it just jams up after three. That's good. I do like that very unique noise. There's no other noise, like, that's the only instance of that noise in this game, if I recall. You know, IRCC. Some of that. I'm not talking about interface relay chats, though. Not an IRC chat. No, no. Remember those? Remember um, every single type of chat protocol back in the day? Remember your your muds? Um. Oh, that's silly. I, I, I've never heard that before. Or at least I don't remember hearing that. Because I'm in danger. Okay, no, I'm not. Good. I'm glad his slow ass worked out. Oh. Poor guy. I wish there was something I could have done about that to prevent that from happening. Did I go this way? I know there's another. Oh, no, I didn't. Hey, <laughs> hey, That's very comforting, Maple. Or the cat socks. Not the, uh, not the other part. I'm sorry to hear the other part. Yeah. And it's understandable that that's not priority. But I am happy about it too. Cat girl. <laughs> I'm so glad I can have cat girls in my chat and cowgirls. Dean. Dean Winchester. Yeah, I have 100 on both of these, but it means if I get a stat decrease, I'll still have over 100. Now, the real question is where are Maple's hooves? Where are the hoof socks out there for the hoofers? Oh my gosh, this poor guy. Again, I know there was like an- oh, ooh. I think I need to get that from Milo. Pretty sure I read something about Milo having that key. Research terminal. Is 
raccoon is OP. I mean, it's a raccoon after all. Research terminal. Nature's most overpowered mammal. Outside of cows. Uh, 67, 55, 41. Okay, these are all the same. Okay, let's read these. Company announcement. The Nuka-Cola Corporation is pleased to announce to all its employees. Okay. I've read that one already. Attention to all Nuka-Cola Corporation employees. We are very proud to announce that R&D has been completed on Nuka-Cola Clear. Oh god, I remember hearing about this. The only minimal loss of life. Uh, we've been able to modify the look of Nuka-Cola, but give it the same great taste. We will be submitting the product to marketing shortly for bottling design... for bottling design and advertising strategies. From all of us in the research department, thanks for the support. Uh, good job, Nuka-Cola Clear boys. How about heads? I'm calling heads for your shot. Isotope CE770 has proven to be dis uh, tor oh. A disastrous failure. All of the test subjects suffered severe internal organ failure and died within three days of ingestion. Jesus Christ. We recommend the immediate destruction of all container uh, A3-2 in the production rooms and suggest switching to isotope CE-772. Jesus. Please send standard Nuka, Nuka condolences, fruit and cheese packages to test member to test group members' families. Jesus. Yes, that's what I've called it. <laughs> Darn. Don't. I I, I definitely can't do it. do <laughs> I can't harness the lowness. I'm so nasally. Isotope uh, 772, also known as Chemical X, has proven too damaging to the internal test group, with which it now needs to be disbanded due to their repugnant, re sorry, reluctance to continue in our program this group has suffered four fatalities 12 major internal organ failures and 32 internal radiation burns oh my god this is an unacceptable number of issues in a given test group and recommended we switch to an alternate isotope such as ce 774 or ur 993 Test subjects in the Nuka-Cola Quantum program are responding well to the reconfigured test and the new isotope. The only listed side effect from the group are side effects from the group are three causes of dizziness, one cause of nausea, and one case of impaired vision. We find from a sampling of 50 that this is an acceptable number of cause uh, cases. And, uh, uh, sorry, I'm being distracted by, like, a thumping noise, because there's, it's very windy, and my, my, my windows, they rustle. I need to reinforce them with, uh, Minecraft wood. Uh, we find from sampling of 50 that this is an acceptable number of cases, and approve this product for production. It's, like, as windy as it's ever been. Ever. Ever. Got these things have like a particle effect. Oh, oh god. Nuka Cola. Oh 
caution. Okay, that's good. Oh, yeah, I forgot the thing I do. Got that I deactivate them. That last uh, reading material really took me out of my my dome zone place. You know what I mean? So much trash. We knew a, a large industrial operation would produce a lot of trash. It's probably supposed to be like sugar silos. I don't know what the, whatever these huge bags are. Some huge sacks. I have fun scavenging. I know I don't really need to with how much money I have and how much dome we're making here. I didn't say dough, I said dome. We're making a lot of that, so. These arrows, hmm. Uh oh. That's like a Meyer Lurk got him. Yep. Oh my gosh. Look at how special this one is. It's a Nuka Lurk. Wow. Let's let's do the honors. Of vatsing him. Oh, what? Demon Connect. There we go. Wow. Nuka meat. Coca-Cola. Sorry, this is a uh, storage and mixing vats. Ooh. Must have been playing in the vats. Okay, so these guys, I have a feeling will take more than just a regular hit, so I'm gonna make the executive choice to uh, hit them with the vats because when you do vats, I'm like 90% sure it gives you double the damage for melee weapons. For no good reason. I, I feel like it's like a holdover from... I mean, okay, the, the reason is because it's the targeting system, I guess, makes you as efficient as possible or whatever, but... I feel like, um... It's like a holdover from the first two games with how VATS works. With the, in the same vein, I suppose, where it's like... Makes you more advanced at targeting. Also, VATS is like... Coca Cola meat. Hello. Uh, that's is a big part of those games, so I guess they wanted to really make it a part of this one. There's nothing in this ash pile. Ooh. I'm just gonna hang around this glowing bat. Oh, hi. You're here, right? Spawn in, why don't you? Remember when we used to take damage in this game? It's been so long, I hardly remember. It's a really neat location, though. I really don't remember coming here ever. Oh. Oh, it's okay. Good thing I'm silent. You can just do this, and no one will see me. Or hear me. I'll... I'm going to vats, like, one of them, and I want to see how much damage I would do without vatsing them. Oh. It's a miss. Well, good thing we can just... I guess 1 in 20 times it'll miss, right? It's a 95% chance. Yeah, let's see what happens. Oh no, it'll... Had such little faith. That our critical sneaks would do that much damage. I'm glad, I'm glad Cody got to relate on liking that Michael Bublé song earlier, called Sway. So it's proof Cody has good taste. Because he likes Michael Bublé like I do. And I know we were all questioning his taste earlier, so that's why I'm saying that.
Is there like any way I can parkour over here to get something special? No, I don't think I can. Fog. I like the sounds of this place. It's like an aquarium in here. It must be nice to go to the aquarium. Gosh, the aquarium here in Chicago has otters, and I'm very excited to see them. The <laughs> if I recall, the way they have them like displayed is like they have this very circular, circular enclosure. That makes me think of like it's a big cylinder. Oh. Thank you for the meat. We thank this roach for this meat. Amen. How am I over-encumbered? What happened? How did this happen? What, could it have been the three fission batteries? No. Too much meat. It's not the meat, it was all the other stuff. I'm not gonna blame it on the meat or the alcohol. The alcus coleslaw. Why are they gonna make alcoholic. Alcoholic? Is that the word for it? When something is like of alcohol? When are they gonna make alcohol based coleslaw? Yeah, because non-alcoholic would be the uh, a not alcohol version. Today, thank goodness, I've been waiting. Imagine if we actually had to play this part. I think we could, we just can do this, right? There's so much of the game. We could have just been just talking and me just like you know la di da. Stumbling through the, the ruins without a care in the world. Just, just playing tag with all these guys with a very unfair advantage. Instead, no. I decided I had to play the game before. What a fool. Slapping me with meat everywhere. Nice to meet you. Shipping. How do I get up there? It's fine if I become detected, whatever. Okay. Thank you. That's a good name for my sword. Oh my god. <laughs> Got caught up on him. I get why they're roaches, but... Ha! Okay, maybe I could get a mod of this. But I would like if all the roaches in this game were just big stag beetles instead. Or big, uh... What are they called? Big, like, Hercules beetle. Oh, Winger Mercer, yep. This is Mercer. This is one of the guys from that, uh... The hockey mask group I mentioned. Yes, I need the assault rifles. Of course I do. Kidding me? I have to read this and it tells me about finding the formula. Oh, big book of science. Oh, piece of candy. It's like one more person alive. Oh, roach. It must be two because I heard a... I heard a, uh, you know... Heard a Meyer lurk. 
Where am I? Lurk. Finding the formula. Winger Mercer. Fred Mercer. No, uh. Fred? No, what's his name? Uh, who's the, who's the voice actor guy? David Mercer. Thank you. Not David Mercer. The formula for Nuka-Cola Clear is on the first floor of the RN, uh, DC plant. That's where they did all the R&D for it. Get the formula and meet us by the at the Red Rocket Tricycle Factory. As we planned. Our buyer is promising lots of caps, so I want to see some hustle. This could take our gang to the big time. Sudden death over time forever. <laughs> Goalie Ludix. Ludius. Ludix Gundre. Ludix Gundar? The thing of the... Udix Gundar? The thing of the guy from, uh... Udix Gundir? He's the first boss in Dark Souls 3. Whatever that guy's name is. Yeah, him. It's Matt Mercer. Just wanted to point that... Just finish that loop. Oh, hi. Okay, let's do this legit. Ow. Ow. Good fight. Goodbye. Wow. Oh, marketing terminal. You know how much I like reading. Check that out in a sec. This one, I saw another one in front of me. Another rad roach. Line congressional style. It's an open uh, safe, okay. Marketing terminal. Yep. Stage one. Stage one of Nuka Cola Quantum Marketing will include one, two, two, 15, 15 second television commercials and four, 10 second radio commercials and a highway billboard campaign. The spots, the spots on TV and radio will tease the consumer with the blue glow of the new drink, never showing the bottle in the illuminated environment. Uh, okay. The billboard will show the bottle's blue silhouette on the back black background. The tagline will be, try something new. Go blue. <laughs> the name will not yet be revealed until stage two. Wow. Bethesda knows their marketing. Stage two of the Nuka-Cola Quantum Marketing will include two 30-second television commercials. Yep. Stay uh, In this stage... Same thing as last time, pretty much. Uh, the name Quantum will be revealed and the bottle shown in full view. We will emphasize the drink's new energy, content, and flavor. The tagline will be, Take the leap. Enjoy a quantum. <laughs> quantum leap. Stage three. Yep. This final stage. We'll, we will aggressively compare the drink to other competitors and show their inferior inferiority using hired actors at taste tests. Uh, the actors will read the pre-written scripts approved by our department. The text should give... A authentic on the spot impression, but still clearly point the out quantum strengths. The tagline will remain take the leap, joy of quantum. I tried getting like evil markety at the end, very evil Markiplier at the end. I wonder if there was a name for evil Markiplier. Good thing we don't have to worry about that. There's another door I never went through, because I thought it was, like, the door to the, uh, the door to the door I just went through, actually. Okay. So this floor is through.
Probably gonna come across one of those uh, toilet traps sometime so I can show it off. I've been mentioning it a few in a few streams. There's this one toilet trap where it's a bunch of these fusion cells, or whatever they're called, and they're uh, they have like two wires leading into the toilet. It's just like uh, <laughs> it's it'll shock you if you try drinking from it. Just like already a rare enough situation, like no one ever needs to heal that way. It's kind of just one quest that emphasizes the 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 use of it. And it's like Moira's quest where you uh have to get a certain amount of radiation, which you can do in different ways. But I remember back in the day, people would always make <laughs> YouTube uh, videos on how to do it. They would just say go to the bathroom and uh, drink up, boys. like bath water but jumps to the never mind let's not finish that oh here's the door hard okay no comment hello got dancing skeletons in here oh help me scary He threw me in here. I can't believe he did it, but uh, that bot brain, bolt brained foreman psychopath locked me in the closet. A goddamn 17 minute break? That's why it threw me in here? Oh no. It's day. It's been a day, and that stupid robot hasn't even checked on me. I can't wait until the next time he opens that door. I'm going to brain him with this auto stapler <laughs> and then escape the story will be front page news so fast that he'll have been reassigned to with toaster duty by the time he sees it. Oh no. This is sad. Three, day three and I'm running out of what little supplies there are. He dragged another guy in here as well and says and he, he his name is Seth from Mark from R and D. Apparently it's now against company policy to leave the toilet seat up in the unisex bathrooms. Wow, twenty twenty four am I right? Um, <laughs> we're, uh, we're, we've come up with a plan that won't fail. We'll be out of here in no time, but for now, we play the waiting game. Aww. Sorry that this woke robot killed you. How do you like my jokes? They're not that good today, are they? <laughs> okay. Check this out. Guess where he is. This rad Raj. Oh, I thought he was glitched out this whole time. I kept hearing him, and I thought I went to where his uh his little marker was. So many piles of ash. I can talk to Milo about the formula. Yes, fellow employee. I have the key to the research safe. Certainly, allow me oh, to cool. whip up a copy for you. There you are. Have a wonderful and productive day. Thank you for whipping me, Milo. Getting whipped with a key would be very painful, wouldn't it? Yay, Nuka Cola! Yay. Okay. Let's 
Just gonna make a cheeky little save. Uh oh. Oh, this is how we're gonna travel for the next while. So I discover this location before I go to the red racer thing. Let's do some of this before we get into all this junk. Nice. They won't know, will they? Nope. None the wiser. None the bud wiser. None the rubier and Coca Cola. All for me. By the way, I made the rail right railway rifle. I should use that this episode. Just to show off how fun it is. Oh, who's this now? Is it Brotherhood? Or, no, that's an iDroid. I keep saying iDroid instead of the whatever it's called. I feel like iDroid's like a knockoff Android product. The iDroid was a thing, I think, though. It sounds like something would have been in the 2000s. Remember random events happening on this bridge? I think I triggered the, uh... Or a bridge made that's coming up? I don't know. I think I triggered the, uh... The alien event on a bridge like this re one one playthrough. Hi. I know there was an ant metro here. Is there, oh, no, this is the random event. That's funny. That was the random event that spawned this, this uh... Radioactive barrel with two ants. Oh, hell yeah. Just have Arlington Library to do. That'd be a good thing we should do this episode. Just finish up the Moira quest. But we found ourselves in a metro again. And you know what? Of course I can walk away from it, but... Do you know how much meat's in there? Oh, hello. Yep. I wish okay. there were more people. Thank you. I'm so surprised. Like, couldn't they have spawned more people to be the, the person who greets you? Because it's just always the same person. So it's like it's like she's saying the same dialogue for the first time every time, even though she's it isn't her first time saying it every time. Just something to think about next time, okay, Bethesda? I mean, if you need more pointers, I can I can always help you out there. Behesta. Bonavesta. Bonavista? I'm just thinking of different things to say instead of Bethesda. Uh, 22, cool. Oh, seven teddy bears? Okay. Yep. Let's do some, uh, you know. Let's do some of this. a good pile of teddy bears right there. How many? Wow. Oh yeah, I went to a factory, didn't I? Just 
gonna... Nice. There's the 30 I need for the quest. Oh, this is gonna be difficult. No! Safe balls lost. <laughs> okay. The gnomes are swarming the eight ball plate. We have such a collection growing. Yes. Yes. Oh, no, no. Momento. Goodness, so many. How may I serve you, Master? I think I got everything out, cleared out my uh, sinuses into my locker. <laughs> it's a classic high school move, right? Let's not continue that hypothetical <laughs> of of what what we'd use our lockers for. I just remember it used to have like, at least in my sc high school, I had like locker mate. So we would uh, both share a locker, have to respect each other's locker boundaries, have locker etiquette. Remember that? Uh. Yeah. Internet internet lock locker etiquette. Okay, but. Yeah, the uh, this is somehow still equipped. Looking for your fix? Let's see what the good doctor has in his. Oh, he still has a bunch of my bag. junk in here, doesn't Shall he? We? Uh, this seems like stuff I sold him. Oh, delicious! Tempted to save that. Okay. Oh, I need to put those away. Oh. Hog. Pleasure doing. Nice. Oh, that's right. That quest still right. Um, it's 
Flooded Metro? Yeah, it must have been the Flooded Metro. Makes sense. Okay. Take a quick save here, and then to the outcast. Outpost. Oh god. That was a bad choice. I'll just go directly there. Whatever. The quest is going on right now, so. I think they're in the lock. They're probably in the parking lot. Hey, they're inside. Hello? I think that's them down there. Uh. One of them's wearing a hockey mask, so it's probably not them. Maybe they're inside of it. Just don't know how to do this quest properly. Oh, I never got it! Just realized, at the last second. Got the key, but I never went back to get the, the drinks. Here, should be in here, I think, right? Yeah. Okay. Cool. The formula for clear. Oh, it's just an item. Okay. Thought it would have been a note. Yep. Okay, sweet. Now they'll spawn if I go there. Quick save. Yep. Hold it right there. What are you doing here? <laughs> so he has a unique mask by the Oh my god, look at how shot his eyes are. He has a he has a unique mask that it's one of the few items in this game that gives you more AP for wearing it. So if I'd cared about Vats, it'd be a very good mask. But for collection reasons, it's also a very good mask. So that's why we're gonna definitely hang on to, or uh, to tail him for a bit after we see him after we talk to him here uh here tell you mercer's dead let's try that first mercer didn't make it damn how do they expect us to play when we don't even have enough people on our team oh well as long as you brought the formula i guess we're still in the game yeah what's with the masks anyway wait no, sure let's say apparently they're talking weird Hockey guys, hooky guys, hello. The name's Goalie Ledoux, and I'm Captain Ledoux. of Sudden Death Overtime, the last of the ice gangs. Hmm. There was a time where every city had their own ice gangs, and it's thousands so silly. would show up to watch them all duke it out in giant arenas. We aim to bring those days back. Wow, noble cause. Well, Captain, we've got to fight a. <laughs> uh, are we gonna fight or try and make a deal? <laughs> Uh, that's up to you. We can make a deal, or we can face off. Ooh, I'm putting 250 caps up on the scoreboard. What do you say? <laughs> on the scoreboard, I get 400. It's yours. Nicely played, and I know talent when I see it. <laughs> here you go. Okay, team, let's get out of here. Please don't run. Good. Hey, watch how I'm gonna play his ass. Um, or not, I guess he's just gonna stand there. What's up? Sorry, we've got practice. Hey. Maybe we'll cross sticks again. Cross sticks, you say? One day. Oh, I'd be down to reverse pickpocket him. He's he's a nice guy. I don't think I have anything he wants. I guess I have this, but I want that, so. Okay. Yep, got his mask. And I'll take the formula, too, because why not? And let's use this. Sweet. 
Sorry, guys. You were unmarked anyway. You were a cool concept, though. And I'm, I'm sorry, but... In your Krito of being a gang... We did just do our thing, and... And yeah, you know, what happened there. Damn, he has a really nice mask, though. 25 AP? Yo, that's so good. Okay, let's, uh... Let's make a little save. And try something if we can. Because I want, I want to be nice if I can, because I like them. Let's try doing this if we possibly can. I have things to go See if I can give him a, a mask or a better helmet. Five should be better. This also made me want to repair this. right there what's with the masks anyway this is the mask of my ice gang sudden death over time I'm the <laughs> captain goalie Ledoux there was a time where every city had their own ice gangs and thousands would show up to watch them all duke it out in duke giant arenas out. we aim to bring those days that's up to you I'm putting Okay. Got greedy. Got greedy. Shit. Okay, I've realized I don't need this. It's just a funny little thing. I, if I if I got it, it's fine if I don't get it though. I don't need that formula or the ammo, actually. Fuck. What I should be focusing on is just doing the thing. <laughs> oh, <laughs> the quest glitched for a sec. Uh, no. Oh, come on. It's better AP. Or AP, whatever. It's called... It has better, uh... Better damage, whatever. Okay, well, whatever. I tried. enemies nearby let's have some fun with our raffle gosh Oops. whoa oh my goodness 
What happened? Whoa. I need to see what happened here. Who, who sneezed? What happened? Choo-choo. Something happened. It is. Just trying to see if there's any like remnants of any sign of what happened actually. Not really. Just a big boom. Oh, we're going to the flooded metro. Thought I forgot about it. Curious to see where it leads us. If it'll lead anywhere, might just be a little nest. We've stealthed it too long. It's time to do some uh some choo chooing. It's like a fun arc that this thing has sometimes. Got here. Okay, well, that's the end of dungeon shortcut, I assume. Oh, yeah, no, there wasn't gonna be giant ants, right? I, I thought there was because of the, the, uh, the, the random event thing. It's called random encounters. Want to be as accurate as possible. Rail the railway rifle is fun, but also really weak. And also low clip. And loud. But it's funny, so that has some that has, it has that going for it. Definitely do not need that steam gauge assembly. Oh my god, hi. Oh god. Okay, hold on. Let me just... <laughs> Amazing. Amazing meat ball. Oh, I didn't even notice. I ended up, uh, Ended up pegging him to the wall there. It's a feature of the gun. That it pegs. It might be a gun that also has no ignition, so I guess that's a neat thing about it. Like, it might, uh... It might have no ignition, I'm not 100% sure on that, but... I'm theorizing that's one of the guns that wouldn't set off the, uh... The... The gas leak reaction.
Yes! Did it again. I was hoping. Perfect. Right away? Okay. I'm sure someone else could have gotten a lot more use out of that right away than I am. Than I will. Will I am? <laughs> Had a feeling. Oh no. It's wondering. Okay. Hmm. I don't know the proper path down. I can, I'm fine with doing this, but I'm just... I'll backtrack to see how I was supposed to get here. Okay, nice little nook in this cranny. Oh. I remember this connecting now. Yep. Didn't even know I was backtracking. Backtracking or is it backtracking? It's probably backtracking. How people mistakenly say uh butt naked. Dev buck naked. We'll say uh, butt naked instead of butt naked, is what I mean. Oop. Yeah, I have no clue how I got over encumbered. Definitely not all the meat and the 30 whatevers. 30 nuclear quantums, no. -uh. Wow. Beautiful installation. Oh. Okay. Have a nice time in here, folks. City folks. I went out there playing Animal Crossing on their Wii right now. You'll understand what I mean by city folks. Ow. Unlocking them. Lorge enemy. Get out of here. Love searching clutches for soft shell meats. Oh no, can I not? Come on. I went through the trouble to look through all of these. The least you could do is actually have some meat in them. This place is a dead end. Oh. Might be still. My beating heart. Yep. This is like an aquarium. Like most aquariums I've been to.
Lots of radioactive stuff. Lots of, uh, radioactive healing. Okay, where's the hatchling meat? Yummy hatchling meat. Soft shell. I mean, soft shell crab. Eat your hole. And eat your hole. Your hole's crab. Nothing else. What else could that be misconstrued as? I don't know. Not here, not now. Uh. Oh. Right here, right now. Just wondering when is it going to be a go deeper door? Oh, I remember. I think I remember this place. Yeah. I actually didn't think this place would have another side, though. thought this one was for show. Oh, great. Need a reason to use all this ammo and meat, so... Getting bonked isn't the worst thing in the world. <laughs> it doesn't get old, I swear. It does not get old seeing that it gets stapled. It's a pretty accurate term. Pretty accurate wheat germ. Mm. The best part. Wow. This metro is a lot more labyrinthian and a lot less like most metros. It's less labyrinthian, I guess, just... Very interesting. Oh god. Wow, the condition is that low now. This room. This one trip. Oh god. Okay, I'm gonna eat as soon as I can. Not cocky. You know what happens when we get cocky? We say boo. Boo to being cocky. Ow. I didn't even know I knocked one out. I thought the other one was still around. I know I knocked one out, I guess, but I didn't know I knocked both out. There we go. I'm expecting this to be a go deeper one, or is this just gonna be a, a simple door open? No, it's a simple door. Ooh. Who's down here? Oh man, it's really radioactive. Oh god. Well, the first times I'm gonna actually. Nothing of note in here. I have enough rad resistance stuff to spend time in here. That doesn't look like there's anything. Just a fun little pit if you want to feel warm.
both warm and wet at the same time. That's what a radioactive pool is like, I'm sure. Clutch. Starch. Starch key and clutch. Starch. Uh, starch. Oh. Of course. Oh. Saw the shotgun. Uh. Crap. After I walked over the trip wire. Oh, hello. Wonder who you were. Oh, harvest. The shocker. Oh my. I was not ready to find that. <laughs> wow. I have to read the, the note on the shocker glove. We'll do that in a moment. If we learn about the maker of the shocker. God dang. The wastelander, huh? Okay. How about the terrible shotgun? There we go. Wow. Nope, nothing else. Okay. That was a fun little treat at the end. Read up on it. Read up about it. Dear consumer, thank you for participating in the exciting Shocker Glove pilot program. You've re you're receiving a prototype S uh, FSGV 118B model of the Shocker Glove. Please reference the, this prototype number in any future correspondence. We encourage you to make this prototype a part of your daily life and look forward to your valuable feedback. Thanks for all of thanks from all of us. At the Shocker Glove R&D team. P.S. Shocker Glove prototypes are not to be used in water. Uh-oh. Public, near small children, or domesticated animals. This is not a kitchen appliance and should not be used near uncooked food. This Shocker... Use of the Shocker Glove prototype constitutes a binding agreement to hold manufacturer harmless for any and all legal purposes. During prolonged use, severe electrical burns may occur. Do not look directly at Shocker Glove while operating. Some prototype models have proven sensitive to certain radio frequencies during use. If you suspect radio interference, please submit a functioning uh, malfunction report listing F -F FCC broadcasting frequencies in operation at the time and report to nearest op emergency medical facility in your area. Jeez. That wa wacky fallout for you. Thank you, TCL. Give it up for the shocker. Ohio. Iowa. Sing up Iowa. There, there's this funny TikTok about like dancing when you hear your state. Tell <laughs> me he, does this this guy does this Please. thing. Tell he's me not dummy. He's funny. I need that quantum. You can't be a dummy if you're funny. I want to be dummy thick. Uh, sure. Let's rat rand Randall out, Ronald out for a sec, and then reload. You know, Ronald has offered to buy Nuka Cola quant buy quantum from me. He has. Oh, that's sweetheart. I knew he'd help me. Oh my god. 
help all this case. All that guy does is watch out for me all the time. No, I think he just wants to get into your pants. That's so silly. <laughs> Why would a man want to wear a pair of these filthy woman's pants? Wow. Doesn't make sense. Um, I bet makes you a lot more sense. that line just to make me smile. <laughs> well, mission accomplished. Oh, uh, okay. I mean, who who among us wouldn't want to? At the last of the quantum. You've done it. My machine is finally full. In one well, instance. Well, like I promised, here's the schematic for the Nuka Grenade. Pog. You've sure earned it. If you find any more bottles, be sure and bring them by. I'll be glad to keep paying for them. Woo. Oh, can't take them all back. But nice, I got the schematic. I got the, uh... Yeah, next to the quantums. Oh, 31, hey! Okay, I guess that's fine. <laughs> 31 is fine if out of 30. I knew you'd come back to visit. Hiya! What you do? Is there anything interesting? Well, to the east there are some nasty raiders in Evergreen Mills. Oh, we're trust, so she'll talk to me about them. I were you. Luckily, we're kind of hidden here under the old highway, so no one bothers us. Has Ronald been bothering you? Oh no, he's such a cutie pie. He never bothers me. <laughs> what kind of recipes can you make with Nuka-Cola Quantum? Well, the stuff is so rare, I only know one. It's called Mississippi Quantum Pie. It's Ooh. delicious. If you want me to make you one, Maple logic. I can. Just bring me some flour, vodka, and a Nuka-Cola Quantum. I can whip it up in no time. <laughs> Very maple-coated. Is a Maple's dialogue option tree. Tell me again what you need. If you have the ingredients, I can make the pie for you. Ooh. All it takes is some flour, vodka, and Nuka-Cola Quantum. Vodka? <laughs> Aww. Sorry, you gotta go. Me and Maple should make a Mississippi Quantum pie sometime. Okay, now no one... Everyone just look away for a sec. I'm just curious what's inside of this bottle machine, so... Just look away for a minute, okay? If you don't want to watch this. We're gonna reload. It'll never have happened, and we'll just pretend that you didn't watch it on stream either. Oh, let's use the shocker for this. Oh. Oh, I like that logic. Wiku. I just wanted to see if she had the key on her and she didn't. Oops. Let's see what he has to say after I've done the quest for her. Got something on your mind? Spill it. What? What? Is there anything else interesting to near Groshide? My friend, Shire. you are at the ass end of the capital Shire. wasteland. If it weren't for one thing, I can tell you is stay the. Oh yeah. Tari told me about that. Okay, well he doesn't he doesn't give me the option to sell more quantum, but that's fine. I prefer keeping it, I guess. I guess. Okay, so let's uh uh I was gonna say let's do the ten penny tower stuff, but maybe I should do I should first do the uh It's not worth selling it to him. Uh-huh. He does give me sixty caps or whatever per, but I mean, I, I prefer having them. Here. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Thanks. I mean, I eat that daily. Speaking of which, I have a slice of pizza I should have my eyes on. I want to step away and grab that. Modern art. I call it noma Nomature in red. Nomenclature. Pizza Slice is calling you. Peepsa. Where's Maple's Peepsa? Ma Peepsa, her favorite food, canonically. Aw, give her a snack. She's earned it. Give her a munch. I'm 
I'm proud of myself for dropping a lot of those junk items or junk weapons that I didn't really use. Or I wouldn't have, like, I would have just sold them. I'm learning. Which is a dangerous thing for a raccoon. I'm gonna put this away. It was fun playing with it. I can use it in the thumbnail now, which which is all that matters. Uh huh. Oh hell yeah! I can use this now that I have enough ammo for it. Fisto, where is that shocker? That away. Education in my raccoon. That's where my tax money going. That's where my tax money is going. Obsessive. I don't need this. Excessive. I don't need this money. The break. The shocker. The tenderizer. these to the collection. It's been a while since I've done anything with this one. I don't think they included this in the completion time, with the completionist how long to be time. Oh. don't think they'd uh, included time it takes to uh, add to your toy car pile. Which any completionist would do if they actually cared about playing this game right. Such a lonely room. <laughs> this room needs a cow. Oh, I should have put it over here this whole time. Why did... Oh, man. Well, eventually it'll spill over to that side. So, I was going to do the Ten Penny Tower stuff. But I think instead, we're going to finally do the Moira stuff. I need to get up into the action more. I have so much food I need to eat. Or sell. So, if that's the case, I should, uh... I guess use this a bunch. But also, I should maybe use a melee weapon. What the ever? Uh... We're gonna have to sell some junk before we do this. I'd rather have a cow instead of brain cells. I can fill that cow with so much food. I don't know. I'm just thinking about how many stomachs a cow has. Looking for that special sum. If the clothes make the man, then here Aww. are the means to remake yourself. Glad Pancake and Austin are having a good conversation. You think I have enough money? Four chambers for putting pasta in. I think he sells that I want. Guess so. I'll just buy this from him. Sure, why not? A pleasure to partner. 
care of this stuff. I wasn't going to say anything bad. Hog. Here to acquire Chambers of Secret. If the clothes Awful make pasta the man, and chimkin. Then here are the means Chicken Bellagio. From Cheesecake Fact Cheems Cake Factory. Sorry, you have to go, Nuka Colas. Just found while it lasted, but just too heavy. I have these, and which do more health, so I can just use those. Enjoy the ice cold Nuka Colas out on the on the trail, Kroll. Kroll, Dave Kroll. Give me a shot. If the clothes crow. make the man, then here are. Try Mariarty's coldest drinks in the Kiss them goodbye. Give him a kiss goodbye. A smooch. Wasn't thinking about anything. Uh. Yes. No. This is where it belongs. Perfect. I put away the recipe, right? I think I did. Yep. Okay, finally time to help Moira. It's been years coming. Psycho. Why's my medics gone? Aw, Maple wants Cheesecake Factory. She should get Cheesecake Factory, right? Meow. <laughs> we can do that again. I'd be down. But we also have plans for another place. Hmm. Where do I want to grow? Surely not here. Surely you just. Watch it, will you? William. That's how I prove my, uh, my unarmed's been getting stronger. Wow. In a library? Who would have thought? Should definitely hotkey the, uh, the weapon that I use, that I'll be using, so. I'll make it easier to just switch from uh, weapon to unarmed. Yeah. If I need to bonk over Adroach. Fuck. Thought I was being so efficient. Now look at me. It's getting sloppy. We definitely don't want to get sloppy here. We're very against getting sloppy on this stream. I will not be answering any further questions about the sloppy allegations.
God, so many caps. Oh, hi, guys. Hey, Bert. Okay, nice little cheeky stealth boy. This is like a medical place, or no, this is where they actually they sleep, I guess. Oh, these are forks. I thought that was a bunch of, uh, that was one scrap metal, actually. Nuka. Okay, I know that's someone's bed. I'm just gonna. There. It's kind of rude of me to leave that on there. Not rude of me to, to uh, rob them blind, though. Oops, I didn't mean to save. I meant to equip this because it's five as well. There we go. Oh, it's Raiders. I could have sworn it was going to be uh, mutants. Roaches. Oh, one of these guys is like a named one? No. No. What's going on in here? The fun little set piece where uh, the Brotherhood will kind of like clear out the rooms with me now. Pretty sure that's how how it's gonna work going forward. Oh. Books. A usable books. I think there's like the one of the most amount of uh supposedly I think the museum is supposed to have like the most amount of uh pre-war books. I don't see them. Probably somewhere else. I think it's something like ten pre-war books. It's on the Wikipedia somewhere. Ever oh, that's a tray. It's either a tray or a Barker. Not think of Trey Parker. Think of Trey Barker as in um the the guy from you know the the, the family thing. Shit. <laughs> What's that? I forget who the guy was. Bob Barker. There we go. From Family Feud. Or no, no. Price is right. <laughs> oh. Wow. Wow. I had a party in here. Friends missed out. Cool. You were saying? Me playing with my bottles. That peepsa is calling me though. Ooh, that peepsa. Should I should f go for? I should give in to my urges. Regarding pizza. That's all I'd be re re regarding to. I have no clue what else that would refer to. What else that would refer tile to. Hmm. I 
I know I should I really should d delete this VOD and all other Raccoon Pizza Party material. I agree. Children's Wing. Okay. I remember this location. There's like a, uh, an area on top that you can drop down from, from the other archive area. Oh, a level up. Uh, five. Tear them apart. Is that everyone? Oh, nope. Yeah, there's a drop down place from up here. Oh. Oh, the fanciest cheesecake factory for Maple. I want to do that too. Probably be in a rich people's area in Cali. Yay. I would like to go to the one we went to last time too. Glad to hear you'd be fine with going to that one. You'll settle for it. <laughs> You'll settle out of court for it. Aww. Okay. Pretty sure I'm gonna go with the, uh, the fire one. Well, no, maybe quantum. Quantum. Probably add that one in console commands later. Sure. Yeah, I'll get the Reaper now. No, the Pyromaniac isn't that neat. Neither is the Quantum one. So, Reaper it is. And I do also want the, uh... What is it? It's another action one that's later on that's fun. Has your guy, like... You have a wide guy, if I recall. Or no, it's one that I can't get. It's this one. Yeah. I consider this guy wide. Oh, so you're a wide guy, eh? Looks like we got a wide guy here. Boss, look who's talking. Got a wide guy over here. Hopefully, there's a wide guy over there. Move a Outsider. Okay. Thanks for not shooting me. I feel like if you're going to refer to someone as an outsider, it's likely a person you would shoot at. Oh, okay. One. At least coming from these guys. That's what I mean. Oof. Just digging a hole. There's a reason I'm gonna need to have another Fallout uh, Let's Play. Let's just say that. This one's gonna get deleted. Goodbye. That's what I'm gonna do to this computer. So to delete these episodes. It'll be that simple. I'll be off YouTube if I just do that to my computer. Oh, what a steal. Toy box. Oh, thank you. Thanks, kid. Oh my gosh. It's 
saw the teddy bears out of the corner of my eye. Okay, why is this in the kids' room? Yeah, that's good that it's in a locked box instead of an unlocked one, I suppose. Forgot how I didn't even know you can pick these up that easily. Seemed like a heavier object. Got an annoying glitching sound over there. Glad to walk away from that. I have a feeling the Brotherhood guys ran to the archive, maybe? Well, they ran off somewhere. Very situation where these you can interact with these uh, desks. Like desks are a lot more interactable in Fallout New Vegas. They, when you encounter a desk, it's like you're probably going to be able to open it in New Vegas. But in this game, it's uh, it's kind of iffy if the desks are like the ones that let you interact with them or the not ones. Or the ones with the not. I actively delete a VOD. Hmm. Hee <laughs> hee. Good points, Riku. On both regards. Ooh. I love how there just has to always be one that's locked in a cluster of these uh, ammunition boxes. Just a weird fact. Okay, what's making this noise? Oh my god, I see what happened. Uh... Please, try to put it out of misery. Ow. I think of jamming something in there, maybe it'll get it loose. Okay, whatever. Sorry about that, folks. City folks. Yeah. Oh. Of course, it's always these piles. There we go. Nice. Let's let's have some fun with the ten millimeter. Oh, baseballs. Goofy. do it. It's so rare whenever I want to do this, but let's do it for fun now. Uh, intruder. Oh. Reserves. Hell yeah. Reconfigure. I always like to shoot each other. The turrets. Mm. Oh, and blast away the prize at the end here. Probably did actually.
I'm gonna be safe, actually. Not much was lost by doing this. And also, I'm gonna clean this up in an instant. Wasn't thinking, I was just trying to gun it. Run and gun it. Cool. I really don't have to think that hard about it. It's everyone. Evening. What do you guys do? Oh. Yes. Okay, I think the archives are here. The computer I need to download. It's a physical catalog. Card catalog, actually. Oh, cool. Did that weird skip thing. Where your character likes to hop forward. This time it did to the side. Whew. All this fingering gave my hand a cramp. What I mean by that is my keyboard fingering. Um. Little car. Yeah, bottles of ink. Not being able to use them for anything I know, right? It has like a different, um, different picture and everything. You should check if it's, if the Wikipedia might have something about it. I would say, might say it's like for a cancelled quest item or something. Okay, the archive is like the top thing that I dropped down from, I think. Yeah, in this room. Or wherever. Oh. It's not over yet. Another one of these? Oh, that's annoying. Explosive guys are so annoying. There. Yeah, switch to a switchblade. Second copy of the Dec Declaration of Independence. Okay, cool. Holding my nuts. Provided my nuts. If you, uh, not that one. I know you could do that either.
Oops. Secret quantum. Okay. Here we go. It's in Library. Virginia Reads, Central Library Catalog. Welcome. Head Librarian Munson. Lib literacy programs. Salt of a generous donation from the Arlington Dental Foundation. The Arlington Reads Literacy Program will be experiencing exciting new changes. Being immediately, the program will change from reading education and development system to the following more holistic and hygienic program, reading education and dental supplies. So remember to keep your mind sharp and your teeth clean. Huntington Reads, that's a good message. Access card catalog. Information transfer to local device. Transfer library archive. Hell yeah. Woo. Scoozy. Another? It's go time. I feel like he spawned after I got the archive. This is the last fuck you to me. There's a turret that I can, or a terminal for a turret here. Yeah. That I can reprogram for fun. What, what useless places for those landmines? I mean, I guess I did go there, but I, don't, I guess normally that, those would have gone off infrared. Shoot. It's probably ED, though. Borrowed? Yep. Damn, I'm so close to level 30. We will be max level in no time. Maybe I'll give myself perks, but there's a good method, maybe. I'll do it like as as like a reward after some DLCs, maybe. Just to give it some like meaning that I got the perks. Instead of just giving myself all the perks for free. Okay. That's the part that you drop down. That I've been alluding to this whole time. Yeah, luck eight. Got it. Go to the lucky eight before I hit level 30. Lucky eight ball I'm holding on to that gives me luck. And gives me fuck. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Mario time. Where even are the guys that were here? Did they just go back to the lobby? They must have went back to the lobby. They must have went back to the lobby. Or a coke and a pack of cigs. Sure, that's the way it used to go back in the day. Nice. That was a barter book. Whoa. And here I, I thought I'd say goodbye to all those quantums or those nuka colas they're back for the vengeance i 
I feel like that's been a pretty good self-imposed thing, but I'm not going to be, like, trying to heal from beds, because that's such an easy way to heal normally. I've only done that when I go back home for, uh, you know, for the stuff. For, uh, the experience perk that I definitely don't need. A well-rested... Well-breasted perk. There's the Fallout well-breasted perk. Okay. Can't help it. A lot of the time, Fallout chicken breast perk. A lot of the time when I re when I hear the word breast, I've been thinking about the, the one of the last videos Gilbert Godfrey reported uh, recorded, where it was uh, one of the last things he recorded was a video talking about Mr. Beast Burger and Mr. Beast uh, and uh, <laughs> at the end of the bur video he called Mr. Beast Mr. Breast, and he specifically kept he he was specifically talking about how uh how he found the Mr. Beast Burger to be a really good, um, let's say not used for what it's supposed to be used for, but some sort of flashlight, let's say. It's a very interesting video. <laughs> it's like someone paid him on, fi on, a on, a I was gonna say Fiverr, on Cameo to say it, I'm pretty sure. It's pretty damn silly. What a legacy. I'm per that it's pretty funny. It's it's funnier than being the bird, right? Being known to say Mr. Breast and say he used the the burgers for something. Um <laughs> Nice. Pre war books. Or, yeah. Ooh. How unsafe. Went around a raccoon. This safe is not safe. Okay. Sweet. I guess I'll share with the Brotherhood that archive. Maybe they'll care. This is me, even if you even care. Oh god, it's still going on. Can I, like... Try to delete that object. Didn't work out. Damn. The library was a lot easier than I remember it being. I totally remembered it being uh, full of super mutants instead of raiders. How many books did I get? I thought there was supposed to be a lot, but I think I only got like five. But I got a lot of regular books, or school books, which is pretty good. But I didn't get many... Uh... I don't think I got many pre-war books, did I? I got six. Six is pretty good. I'm sure I missed like three and most. It's fine. What does the hospital have a lot of books? Is what you're saying? I don't even remember a hospital. Hello. Move along, outsider. Welcome back. Have you been successful in your search for books? I've been successful in my drinking my Dr. Pepper berries and cream. Maybe books later. Oh, we've been teasing Moira this whole time with finishing this quest, but we're finally here. I'm glad we'll be finishing the quest before we reach max level. Feels like it's still special. That her experience is not going to waste. 
27 Nuka Colas. Oh my god. I'm just gonna keep those in there for now. I also I should have kept those as like regulars if I want to do the quantum thing, but it's okay. It's okay. Can I say hi to Moira? Oh, I took jet by accident, I guess. It's good. Deleted. Oh, the National Archives, okay. Which is somewhere I do need to go if I want to get stealing independence done. Which is another schematic. Don't try anything. He, he challenged me. Is it there? Are there books? Oh, can I go borrow some? Oh. The library's still standing, and I've got the archives right here. I'll be right back. I'm gonna take a slice. Yeah, it's probably that. National Archive. Really? A whole library's worth of data? Right there? Oh, that's great news. So, what did you find? Tell me about it. Hmm. Oh. Hmm. I think I'll save and then reload just so I can see if I was able to access those holotapes. If there's any, like, neat info I could have read off them. Uh, this is an entire library's archive. You know how valuable that is, right? I suspect you and I are two of the only people who really <laughs> appreciate yeah. its value. Yes. Oh, my goodness. When I'm done with this, I'll have to work on copying all of this information. It could take a while, you know. <laughs> oh, but here's a book of mine and some Ooh. caps for your research. Think of it as pay for a civilization worth of overdue books. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa. Nice. And now my research for your book is completed, isn't it? Yes, that concludes our exceptional expert endeavor. I have to admit, I was worried it would go over some people's heads, hmm. but it should be fine. For all your hard work, I want you to have this mini nuke. I wow. I need to use it to dig a well, but honestly, it just makes me nervous. <laughs> oh, wow. Now, I just need to do a few last tweaks, and it'll be ready to print and distribute. That won't infect Thanks the water with the any radiation. <laughs> I'm going to say <laughs> this one. So you want me to print it and distribute it, right? So cynical. <laughs> no, no. I can take care of all that with the few traders I know. Hmm. What makes you think I'd force you to handle something so dangerous? Oh, now Moira. you should just lie back and bask in the praise for helping with the book. It certainly was an epic piece of work. Uh, so, is the final product worth it? Oh, my. It's It's brilliant. Even I'm astounded by my genius. Oh, no, no, no. It's more than that. By our genius. <laughs> I'll Me share these I with the traders. And co -host soon, with Squint, everyone with Saint. will know about the Wasteland Survival Guide. Woo. But now, Aww. the very first copy of our book goes to you. It wouldn't nearly be as good without your input. You're the real Wasteland Survival Guru. Wow. Nice. As a result of your painstaking research for the Wasteland Survival God, your survival skills have improved. Survival perk. Woo! It's such a low amount of experience. It's a thought that counts. If you've got Sure.
something off the junk. I'll mosey on over to uh some other thing. They're probably a pen ten penny tower now. Nice books, books, books. Good hunting. Let's see if the perk actually tells me how good the stats are that improved. Oh hell yeah. You wrote the book on how to survive in the wasteland and have shared your secrets with humanity. You gain six percent bonus to poison resistance, six and uh, radiation resistance, and six points to both medicine and science, which I was already maxed at. Great. Like all these things that I all the books that I have too are Let's see. Small guns, yep. Speech, yep. Four hundred twenty-two stims. Let's go. Oh. I wish there were more people. Thank you. Thought I could help out. Cool. So coral. Uh-huh, where do I go? Oh boy. Ah, oh, brother, this guy stinks! I've earned it. I've helped out humanity, I get one shotgun in the air. In town. Oh boy, there's a lot of trash I didn't sell off. Wow. Oh. Oh, I forgot to reload to see if I could read anything from the archive, but I doubt it was anything like that. It's fine. It'll appear in my notes if it was readable, so I'll check there. Aw, oh, the Wasteland Survival Guide. I'll put that somewhere in my house. Trucks, bears... Put on this right here. Oh, nice. It's probably so much footage of me doing that little jump over the uh, edge of the second floor to get down quick. feeling it felt like there was one extra item here. Oh man, what am I at again with barter? Damn. Um, <laughs> excuse me. If I, um, if I equip the outfit, I'm pretty much at 100 barter. Nice. Hmm. Tempted to put some numbers into melee weapon too, because it's taken forever to up that. Okay. I'm not gonna do that quest yet. I'm gonna talk to Daring Dashwood. Because he is also the location of another schematic. Oh, 
Lots to steal in here. Just a lot of unique NPCs in this building. Welcome to Tenpenny Tower. Thank you. What nice people. Good to see you. Welcome to new urban apparel. I carry the finest oh, in oh, new war oh, clothes. Jesse and James. Up, oh. Let's get you out of those old rags and into something fabulous. You really think you can improve my look? With my fashion sense and your bottle caps, there is no mm -hmm. limit to what we can do for your image. I can't wait to get started. Aw. Are you worried about those ghouls? They were told they can't live here, but those zombies are too stupid to understand. Mm. They live in their own filth, squatting in the nearby metro tunnel. I, I do both of those. Shooting them, but I both they squat and live back. in my own filth. These guys are not, aren't too different from me. Might be able to solve this problem. Hmm. You're certainly welcome to try, aren't you? Hmm. Talk to Chief Gustavo. The, was that really the name of that guy that, that gave me the quest? Gustavo? I don't even remember that. If it was. I, I don't think so. Uh, what is it like living in Tenpenny Tower? Only those deserving to live here can afford it. <laughs> and let me tell you, those who do live in style. Oh, this, this guy's saying all the right things. Noticed the quality of living rather high here, isn't it? And you can thank me for that. Oh, I'm the resident guide to all things fabulous. Oh, and I'll tell you what isn't ever in style. What a cool person! Disgusting ghouls getting their rotting paws wow. all over everything. This guy's starting to make some sense. Only like, good place for ghouls. No, oh my god, <laughs> I would never say that. Most ghouls are indeed. <laughs> Most ghouls are in need of a serious makeover, huh? Am I? <laughs> yeah, am I right? What do you have against ghouls, anyway? That's a silly question. What I have against ghouls is that they are ghouls. Huh. I feel like I missed out on an opportunity to get a huge discount from him, which I definitely need. Tell me about Alistar. A very well-dressed gentleman, when he bothers to get dressed, he hardly ever leaves ah. his penthouse suite. I like to do business. I only carry the. F okay. Wow, wow. I've noticed the price of stim packs drop lower and lower as my barter goes up and up. Ta ta. Ta ta. Ha. Ah. Oh. Whoa, not bad. Hell yeah. I was just thinking about it for a sec. Good to see you. You too. Oh, is this him? Yep, Good Herbert. To see you. Good to see you. Hello. Well, hello there. Oh, now I'm thinking of that a podcast Maple shared with me. Of these, those stars of space. Wasting. Oh, wow. I feel like getting a one in Wordle. Oh, cool. <laughs> okay. For more top of the line Robco products, see the local showroom. See your local showroom. You said pr price list. Oh, cool. Save for now. Yes. Yes. Welcome Shakes. to the Federalist Lounge. I'm Shakes. Wet your whistle. Fifty percent off. I know, right? That's so cool. Hey, robots. I'd love a drink, friend. I see, sir. Very well. May I pour you a drink? You know anything about ghouls trying to get in here? Don't you worry. 
about any such thing, sir. Care to wet your whistle? Oh boy, don't die. Care to wet Wet. Your whistle? <laughs> Tell me about Alistair. He is the right lord and master of Ten Penny Tower. Or at least that's what my files say. Thirsty. I have an excellent selection of thirst quenchers. Ooh. Okay. Cheers, lads. It's a price list. Holy shit. A very special welcome. Welcome. Thirsty. And what will our most distinguished guest be having today? Wow. We'll see what the holiday one says. If he says anything special. Happy Aww. holidays. Care for a drink? Only two caps off, yeah. I have. Cute. Wait, that's a 26. Oh, yeah. The stim pack would be 25, I think. load him oh hi hey yes 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 my name is tiffany ching my miserable excuse for a husband is <laughs> comrade irving ching and you can tell him i said so wow this is my kind of uh, wife uh you put up with your with a lot from your husband huh do you know he tried forming a committee to discuss the ghoul situation? A committee. He made himself a committee, chairman, of course. A committee. What he need is somebody to do something, not just talk about it. Okay. Don't suppose you know anything about ghouls, do you? I could take a whole pack of ghouls without breaking a sweat. That's terrific. <laughs> a real man of action. That's just what we I mean, need. It's true, I could. I think about these ghouls. They are living in the nearby tunnels. They scare me. <laughs> Why doesn't somebody do something? Don't worry, I'll take care of the problem. It's only natural to be afraid of the unknown. Perhaps you're right. But I prefer to keep my nightmares a fantasy and not test my luck with the real thing. Thank you very much. Wow. What? What? What's it like living? It's very clean and safe here. Well, mostly safe. They say those ghouls won't get in, but I don't know. Have to go. Take care. Hmm. I'm Michael Hawthorne. I'm. Who are you? And more importantly, should I care? Creepy pasta eyes. Say nothing. I'm glad to meet someone who doesn't want to talk my ear off. We should get a drink together. I hate when people talk while I'm drinking. Don't you? And there's plenty to drink about, or uh, talk about, <laughs> isn't there? Everyone's always prattling on about the ghouls this and prattling. the ghouls that. Frankly, I'm getting fed up with all this ghoul talk. How about you? You know much about ghouls? Uh... You say I'm an expert when it comes to dealing with ghouls. That's vague. Really? Fantastic. You oh, it is Gustavo. Gustavo a lesson or two. Yeah, I do. I do recall actually now him being named Gustavo. 
Gustavo. I don't suppose you know much about the ghouls. We haven't discussed this already? Um, Apparently, there's a pack of zombies living in the tunnels. Gustavo says he has it under control. On the bright side, it's given me another reason to hit the drink. Wow. I'd be able to help deal with the problem. If you ever wonder if you maybe drink too much, shears. We shall simply have to ignore them until they bugger off. Good point. What's it like? Well, it's a great place to live. If you don't mind ghouls breathing down your Ghouls. Right. right on. Talk to Daring in a sec. Tenpenny resident or tenpenny yes. tower resident. Interesting. Hey. Hello. Hi. How are things? Bye. Yes. Okay, three named NPCs here. I'm off duty. Come back when. Ah, uh, what the hell? Oh, he sip. Let's just get it over with. I'm Doctor Banfield. What do you need? What do you need? What do you need is a very common phrase in Fallout Three. How much do you know about ghouls? My current theory is that the destructive disease of the ghoul condition will always eventually render him little more than a mindless killer. Wow. The proverbial wasteland zombie with a predilection for raw human flesh. Hmm. They can't be cured. Yeah. And there's nothing to alleviate the symptoms. All in all, it seems rather sad, really. Hmm. Yep. I don't suppose you've consulted any ghouls on your little theory. Well, not exactly. But my colleagues have published papers. Really? I suppose someone ought to verify their findings. Perhaps I'll do that. Who knows? Hmm. I might even finally get published. Hmm. I really hope you aren't hurt. The clinic is closed, and I'd really hate to have to open it up at this hour. <laughs> I have some first aid. Business. Ten penny. People are healthy here. They eat well and have a strong roof over their head. Hmm. <laughs> Must be nice having some patients who pay their medical bills, huh? I'm not sure what you're trying to imply, but it's no crime to be paid for doing work. Ten penny charges me rent too, you know. Hmm. In a perfect world, health care would be free. But since you've traveled through the wastes out there, you know it's not a perfect world, is it? Take those not ghouls out there. Not a perfect Ten world. Tenpenny won't let them live here. Sure, it's a little sad, but that decision is keeping people in here safe and sound. Wow. Sure, they look a little weird, but they're not diseased vermin. Well, um, I guess I must confess... I've never examined a ghoul up close. <laughs> You're right. I shouldn't make assumptions. Aw. I'm glad he saw my, my side. Alistair. He's the landlord, although you hardly ever see him. I had to treat him once for bed sores, <laughs> if you know what I mean. Mm -hmm. Wait. Don't tell him I said that. Oh, I see. Drugs. Got it. Try not to break any... I meant something with sex. Well, well, what have we here? Allow and also, that I just lays around in bed. Myself. I'm Susan Lancaster. Perhaps we can become better acquainted in the near future. Wow. Say nothing. A strong, silent type, eh? <laughs> We're in luck. Ever met a ghoul before? I've done more than meet one. I've meted one. Ghouls aren't bad once you get to know them. Fine. Never mind. Oh my god. I thought you were a real man. Turns out you're just a scared little boy. Yeah. I'm scared, all right. Those ghouls sure have people worked up, don't they? Are you going to do something about the problem or not? <laughs> Say nothing. You're a bit of a... Oh no, you're a bit of a loser, aren't you? Oh, I struck out. So like living in Tenpenny. Beats living out there in the wasteland. Trust me. See, I'm not like these other established. You like the strong talent. I earned the, my way the into the pilot bike. I worked to get here. You established. You like the strong t silent type. Later then.
Hey there. I'll look up Susan Lancaster for a sec. I want to see if there's any, any path I lost out on. Doubt that there was anything really important. Uh, huh? Oh. So this was a member of the Paradise Fall Slavers. Just one, for some reason, unknown. She left the organization on bad terms. Slitting the throats of one of the members before she departed. There's an escort. Okay. Strictly business. One of the VIPs. Grouse wants the lone wanderer to bring in. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm already reading about her right now. Not really missing out on much. I have to convince her to let the ghouls in if I want to want to have the ghouls live in the tower with her. So, yeah, no. Miss out any dialogue, really. Oh, God. Okay, well, I'm addicted to medics. Great. You're new around here. Ooh, sugar I'm bombs. Margaret Primrose. I run the Cafe <coughs> Beaumont. Stop by sometime. Okay. Hi, I'm here. Uh, those ghouls have you stressed out, too? Chief Gustavo assures us that he's increased the number of the security team and will kill any zombies on site. Well, she's not afraid to say it, unfortunately. I wonder if ghouls like your cooking. I hope I don't have to find out, though. Everyone loves my cooking. Hmm. Okay, bye. Uh-oh. Didn't no mean here. that. Pick any table except the one in the corner. That's Mr. Tenpenny's stable. Nobody sits there. Except him, of course. Welcome to Café Beaumont. Gourmet meals Beaumont. and service with a smile. Whatever you say. And a pretty smile it is. Very kind of you to say so. Thank you. I'll go now. Have a good one. Don't even think Hello. of breaking into that. Okay, someone just shouted no. How are you? Later. Oh, wanted to see if she would comment about me sitting in Pantene's. Oh. Come on. Oh, I thought she was pathing over here. Whatever. Welcome to Cafe Tower. It's a great place to live. I've always dreamed of giving people fresh dreamed. meals and a place to relax and enjoy a good conversation or two. Tenpenny gave me a place to do that. I'm greatly indebted to him for that. All right, cafe can't be easy. Indeed. Everyone who lives here has worked hard to get here. That's why we sure. can't just let those ghouls in. <laughs> they demand the right to live here, but what have they done to prove themselves worthy? <coughs> Excuse me. I think they've proven something by just staying alive in that condition. I guess I never thought of it that way. It's probably really hard just A living day to day terrible lighting right like now. That. Now I feel a only a silhouette. Ashamed. Aw. Eat. What, are you in the mood? Beer. Enjoy your meal. Pallister. Every day it's the same thing. The man has no imagination with his meals. But it's his building. I get that way. So every day I make masala. that damned iguano bit sandwich, no salt, with a peeled pear on the side. Aw. Send it up to the penthouse. Nice. I want, I want iguana, but not to eat. Charm, I'm sure. Sometimes I get the feeling you're off in your. Ah, hello. Hi. 
Don't mind me. Bathroom. <laughs> Bathroom betrayal. I think it's controls because the R and the O. Damn it, it's none. None of those letters. The bathroom betrayed me. It was betrayal. Oh my- Oh god! Oh no. Oh, oh no. We're this far back, folks. Hello. Uh, my name is Tiffany. What? Don't oh my god. All these dialogue options I forgot. Oh no. My name is Tiffany. Uh Herbert Dashwood. Okay, well, this Damn is the person Brad I wanted to talk you. to. Call me Daring. I wasn't too Anybody happy about... Does? I don't really think I needed to, uh... Like, all those dialogue options. Not None of them really mattered, did they? Like, I really don't think anything's gained from actually doing those. I mean, and we, we heard them all, so... I think I'm just gonna do the dialogue option for the, um... Uh, just for the last lady I didn't do. And Herbert here. Because it's, I seriously doubt any of that mattered, like, for, for, like, uh, coding flags or anything. Like, I don't think anyone cares. I actually talked to them, uh, internally for any quest. Daring, I bet you had to earn that nickname, huh? I, I, so I used to listen to the radios in this game, and I know who this guy is, um, through this playthrough. We have not heard the radio at all, so... It's understandable if you don't know who Herbert Daring Dashwood is, but you hear about his adventures over the radio as, like, a, a serialized little, like, drama, drama thing where he's the hero doing wasteland stuff with his man-servant ser ghoul, I think they call him. Uh, Daring, yeah. Maybe you've heard the GNR radio play? The Adventures of Herbert Daring radio Dashwood? Play. That's about me, you know. Based on my, um, earlier days. I even had a ghoul manservant. Yep. Let me ask you, you ever met a ghoul before? I'm oh, sure lots of them. <laughs> oh no. Sure I've met some ghouls, they're just people trying to get by. Ah, <coughs> you've already learned some wisdom in your youth. Aw. Congratulations. Good, good guy daring. Mentioned something about GNR. Haven't you ever heard the radio play? The Adventures of Herbert Daring Dashwood? That guy at the radio station put it together a few years ago. He did it Aww. in the style of those shows they had before the war. Came out pretty well. And it's all true. Rockopolis, Miss Chase, all of it. Wow. Of course, they do portray me as a bit of a chump. <laughs> Argyle may have saved my hide more than once, but I had my moments. Ah, those were the days. Tell me about Argyle. Argyle was my manservant. Ah, but that's really just a fancy word for the guy who saves my sorry skin on a regular <laughs> occasion. He was a, a sidekick, you see. Been around since before the war. Wow. We met when I stole his girlfriend back in 41. We'd been best friends ever since. <laughs> we got separated a long time ago and never reunited. If you find Argyle out there somewhere, you be sure and tell me, okay? Oh, unfortunate. I know the truth. You know a thing or two about those ghouls. Some ghouls moved into the nearby metro tunnel. There's a bunch of the so-called feral ghouls in there, but a handful seem the sociable type. <laughs> I've tried explaining to my fellow tenants that not all ghouls are monsters, but they don't seem to care. Rip. The intelligent ones should stay away from our trigger-happy protectors. If there are enough feral ones, though, eh, they could overwhelm security. Oh my, he knows.
Yeah, I can take care of the ghoul situation, no problem. Aha! An adventurous soul like myself. If I wasn't retired, I might come with you myself. Oh. Living. Well, until recently, the only danger you ever faced in this fine establishment was bumping into all the bloated egos floating around. Huh. But now there's a nice. group of ghouls nearby. I've tried explaining that they don't all want to eat you, though some do, of course. Problem is, it's hard to tell which is which. Chief Gustavo has initiated a shoot first and ask later policy. If they're smart, they'll stay away. Rip. <clears throat> Don't forget to have a little fun out there. Aw, thanks, Daring. Hello? I can smell the stink of ghoul on you. I sure do, Stank. Good to see you. Welcome to Tenpenny Tower. Shopping at Le Chic proves you have great... <laughs> Are you afraid of the ghouls trying to get into Pentenny? If they got in here, they'd get oh. filth over everything. You can smell them a mile away. She I says hope this. they come back and get killed by security. Uh, I can handle those ghouls. Really? Perhaps you can. We'd all be terribly grateful. Chief Gustavo will want to know you're willing to help. Yeah. Pentenny. He stays in his ten, penthouse suite ten most pen. of the time. So long as we pay the rent, he lets us live here. Tower. Tenpenny is a classy place. Just look at me. Hmm. Look at my shop. Can't find top shelf class like that anywhere else. Good thing the tower was still structurally sound after the year after the war. Indeed, though Tenpenny has put a lot of work into <coughs> restoring it. I can tell by the walls. He's hired security to keep us safe. Oh, that too, I guess. But they seem to be having some trouble with a pack of ghouls living in the tunnels nearby. Wow. Don't suppose you've encountered many ghouls on your travels? I see a ghoul in the distance. I tend to turn around and go the other way. Ghouls are all right. What? Have you lost your mind? <laughs> That's all she has to say. Uh, what's your inventory like? Back for the best. Oh yeah. Ooh. Yep, not really using a lot of this. I'm being honest. Get I'm just gonna sell all that. It's fine. I'll just sell meat it's I collect. I'll be like one of the meat traders, and that's that's how it'll work. Hey. Okay. <laughs> good good dialogue. Okay, so I, the reason I even came here is specifically for Herbert, because <clears throat> we're still on that quest to get all the schematics. And I happen to know where Rockopolis is, and sadly, I happen to know where Argyle is. The, the manservant he was talking about. I want to have the easiest time finding it, but I just know it's in this general location. Oh my god, Yao Guai. Goodbye. <laughs> so much damage. Okay, don't know where that sound was, but that's fine. Scary. Oh god. Oh my god. Oh hi. Ha. Ah. Rip. 
Rip. Another? Sorry. Ow. I need to get rid of this thing. Really don't use it that much. Also, I, I thought it was clipping. Something was clipping through me. What was that? Oh. tell what that was from that angle. So the best way I'll find Rockopolis is by checking my mini-map and seeing if I can get to it. Oh. So if you read what happens, I mean I, I was likely going to read what happens. Seeing. Oh! Ow. Oh. Oh. Bye. Please. don't know what Rockopolis looks like, actually. I can look up- I have the page open, but I have it, like, you know, minimized right now. Just know that's north of, uh, Grey Ditch Shire. Probably look it up in a sec. Definitely another robot that was over the ledge that I would have walked into by now. Don't know where it went. Time to auto save or whatever save. Quick save. Oh, there's a location here, so that's something. Oh. Hello. The Alkwai tunnels. Oh, hell yeah. Fun. F-U-N. Definitely passed it a while ago. It's right here, actually. Like, way closer. Just looked on the map. For the wiki page. Should be, like, right here. Yep. 
This seems like a little place. No? Let's see. Hello. Oh! No, this can't be. Oh, it is! We got it, folks! I thought he was injured. Wow. We got the schematics, the Deathclaw Gauntlet. One of the ones that we couldn't, like, guarantee we'd get until just now. Right in front of Rockopolis. Wow. Perfect. Perfect timing. Rollings were done. Rollings, that's the last of these fucking hole dwellers. Jurley wants to shop them around up north. Not sure if they'll make good slaves since their eyesight is so shitty, but it's not our problem. So gather up the boys and saddle up. Next stop, the pit. Jeez. Rip. No. Argyle. But also a bobblehead. Hey, not bad. Unarmed. Ooh. Perfect time for that. That's ten other uh, hit points, or skill points now, that we don't have to worry about for our next level up. Oh, heck yeah. Four. Ten. Eleven. And this would be fourteen, so twenty-five. Plus thir uh, thirteen. So only 38 skill only 38 skill points away from full max skills. Damn. And Argyle. Unfortunate. Just like the motorcycles and the, the fairy tales all said. Epic. Okay, and then we're gonna get a schematic for this. We did it, yeah. Woo. Still getting sauced up in the lounge. Yep. Yes. Oh, that guy is. Oh, but Herbert isn't. Probably in his bedroom. No, he likes a lot spent a lot of time there. Charmed, I'm sure. I know where his bedroom is though. We'll find it. I think it's this place. Nope, that's it's the hospital ho hospital. There he is. Get into any adventures recently? Uh-oh. I found Argyle. I'm afraid he's dead. Dead? Argyle? You... you're sure? My God. I always thought he'd outlive me by at least a hundred years. Oh. Poor bastard. But thank you. Thank you for telling me. At least now I know. Hmm. At least now the poor guy can catch a breather. Oh. I'd like to return your kindness. Here, take this key. It unlocks my safe. Lots of stuff I think you in can't there, unlock the safe again. unless you get my the key. Adventuring days are over. Aw, thank you. Go make a name for yourself. Sure, I'm sure I will. Mini nuke. Nice collection. And the bottle cap. Oh. Get into any adventures All right. Guess we'll just wait till you're asleep for that.
It's a lot, a lot less sentimental ending it that way. But wow, a collection. Well, oh, gnomes. Ooh, exploration database. Hello, darling. Uh, may the twilight of your life be filled with the same wonder and adventure as your youth. People. King Crag. Oh, wow. There's a lot of entries here. Places. Rockopolis. Underground city. Not a bad... Not a bad accomplishment. What? Not a bad uh, accomplishment. All things considered. But... Their leader, King Craig, be uh, became too isolationist for his own good. Okay, so I appreciate. Apparent, I accidentally led the. Sl oh no, the slavers there and those bastards cleared the place out. It was an honest mistake. Wow, rip. Big rip. Blue Destiny brothel. This damn warehouse in the capital wasteland. Strong booze and soft women. It shut down in the summer of 84, when most of the ladies died from the cholera outbreak. Jesus. Underworld. A city of the dead, or undead, as some would believe. <clears throat> Underworld was, and is, a settlement of ghouls, established by, in an old art exhibit, a museum of American history. Argyle and I used to go there quite, a, quite a bit. I was even voted honorary ghoul back in 51. I really should go back and visit sometime. Megaton. Town built around a under undetonated uh, an undated fuck. Sorry, I was dying from belching. Um an undetonated atomic bomb. My kind of place. Megaton is pretty well fortified now. I need to get a drink. My throat. Back in my day it was even more uh ran ramshackle. Great place to grab a drink or a broad. I hear Moriarty even has his own place now. Guess that shouldn't surprise me. The guy has had been playing the angle since the day he ended up in this country as a kid. Interesting. Paradise Falls. Most dangerous dump in the capital wasteland. The slavers there would have brought and sold, bought and sold anything with a pulse. They still will, for what I hear. For what I hear. Back in my day, they were more disorganized, though. Their leader was a guy named Hammond Jurley, psychopath son of a bitch who, <laughs> who was rumored to eat the slaves he couldn't sell. Damn. Pests? Mirelurks? Goddamn walking crabs. Tough to kill, but pretty delicious afterward. The outer carapace is hell to penetrate, though good thing their though good th good thing their face isn't armored, as Agral had such a good right jab. Feral ghouls, ghouls gone bad. Their brains had rotten through uh, so much. Rotted through so much. They lost the ability to think straight. Argyll and I fought these hapless zombie bastards more times than I care than I can count. I think he actually liked killing them. Saw it as some sort of revenge against God for what his uh, for his own self situation or something. Jeez, it's complicated. Red scorpions. I've been in a lot of places in my day, and everywhere you'd find those damn- and everywhere you'll find those damn rad scorpions. Rumor has- was they'd descended from emperor scorpions, which you could find in pretty much any pet store in the country But when the bombs fell. I guess that explains their population. Interesting theory. Yalgwai. Bear or Capital Wasteland's equivalent, anyway. You're not going to find one of these babies balanced- babies balancing on a big rubber ball. Though I can tell you that much. Though I, I can tell you that much. They are vicious as they come. Razor sharp claws, razor sharp teeth, nasty, nasty temperament. Robo, robo brains. I have to admit, I've always been fascinated by these things. Such an ingenious creation. A robot powered by a brain. And a sexy dame's voice. Of course, I always had to wonder. Were they human brains? Were they actually the brains of a sexy of sexy dames or are they all monkey brains and recordings anyways i got a hit i got hit by one of their mind blasts once hell of a headache for three days people uh king crag good old craggy 
king of Rockopolis. He offered Argyle and me shelter back in the summer of 84. Fortunately, there was a literal a little incident with his daughter, and we were expelled. Uh, exiled. We sought shelter again a couple of years later, but Craggy didn't take too kindly to us luring the slavers into his hidden underground city. That was the last time I ever saw Argyle, right after he saved my hide from the hundredth time for the hundredth time. Miss Penelope Chase. Two timing bitch and she go Oh no. Uh Destiny Chow. My dearest Destiny. A harlot per excellence and a proprietor of the blue brothel. Blue Destiny Brothel. One of the loveliest ladies I've ever had the pleasure to pleasure. <laughs> Sadly, she died in, oh no, from cholera in the summer of 8049. An event that closed down the brothel forever. Damn. Argyle. The best man servant a guy could ask for. Tough, loyal, and a hell of a good friend. Even if he did smell like a bag of rotten meat, he... But what's a ghoul gonna do? Last time I saw Argyle was in Rockopolis decades ago. I know, he's still out there somewhere. <clears throat> Sorry to say it, you're gonna have to update this, uh, this entry, Daring. Uh, Harmon Jurley, Slaver Leader, Psychopath Cannibal. Circa 20, uh, 2250, Sandry in Paradise Falls. Okay. That was a fun little read. Also, that's a fun little another schematic. I'll, uh, save here. I want to update my list. My schematic list. So three. Herbert Darren Dashwood, check that off. And then yeah, finally. Oh my god. I'm super surprised to get the third Death Claw one. Oh, I, I also got the Nuka Cola challenge. Yep. So a Yao Guai cave has uh has the last of the Nuka Cola grenades, which is also like near Grey Ditch or whatever. I keep saying Grey Ditch. It's not Grey Ditch. Grey Ditch is the place with the. It's, it's Girdershire, whatever. Girdershade. Grey Ditch is the place with the fire ants. But yeah, I think if I if this is correct, I'm missing two, two of the schematics, and then I would have had three sch the th level three schematics for every other. Uh, craftable item. Then there's duplicates for for the bottle cap mine for little lamplight. This character named Knickknack sells it, so that's a, a third, a fourth bottle cap mine. But having a fourth schematic doesn't help you at all. It's just a completionist thing if you're interested. But yeah, Yahweh and stealing independence was the last two. So wait, yeah, sorry. There's there's a duplicate for that, the Knickknack bottle cap mine, and then there's a duplicate apparently for the rocket launcher, which is in the framed uh, quote. Of the, you know, the Waters of Life one. Yep. Definitely should have expected this. First minimize of the night. After having a... Not uh, having a rocky start. So it's called Yaogwive Caves, I have it written down as, but I think it's like, it's, uh, it's some caves that are over here in this area. There's like overlook caves. I think that's where that schematic is. I think I'm going to go for that schematic and then call it a night. Just we'll have one more off the list and then maybe we'll do Stealing Independence next time. But I am... Teasing the hell out of this pen. I keep saying pen tenny. Ten penny tower quest. We are not doing it for a bit. Still never did this yet. Shall mark stealing independence for next time. A lot of raccoon hours. True. Oh. Tell how close that thing was. So 
I'm gonna discover this location. I'm still in shock about actually encountering the death claw. The wounded death claw. I was just uh I, I knew I saw death claws around that area before. So I was skeptical, but then I was like, no, this thing looks weak. Could it be? Then I saw it was, I shot it, and then damn. I was like, okay, look around. Is is there is he here? And he was. Ouch. Yay, happy you finally found it. Thanks, Riku. Oh, ow. You really like making me have to work for uh, getting into that inventory. I'm gonna get a drink before I start doing the cave. I'm just gonna get to the cave first. I think a random event happens here. Maybe not. Maybe it already happened and I didn't notice. They tend to happen like that a lot of the time. Yeah. Okay. Oh, I think I'm up high. I think it's actually below me by quite a bit. Aw, you're gonna head off yourself. Okay, night night squint. Thanks for hanging. You were lots of fun to hang with Riku. Night night. Close side caverns. Okay, we'll be right back. I'm gonna get a drink. Actually, I'm gonna use the bathroom too, so this will take a couple secs. Teehee. I'm back. I'm uh, sitting down. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Just adjust some things. A couple of things. Haha. <laughs> to reader outpost. Cool. Be fun. I think this time we'll do the normal uh, method we're now used to. Forgot that I can equip this too. Helmet. Oh god. No. Oh. He messed up. 
poor guy. Purely innocent. Did nothing wrong. Purely innocent. Is that truly? Okay, I have a feeling I should have been here earlier. Definitely seems like a not as tough cave. I don't get much damage done, but you know, I still use the stim packs because I have 420 of them. Also known as 420. Nice, quantum. Can't see. Oh my god, that doesn't help either. So bright. What's going on over here? Two little generators. Generally generating. Playing like the flight of the bumblebee in my head right now. I know why. Da, 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 da. No, that's uh thing of bald mountain or night of the mountain king whatever that fly the bumblebee thing of oh my gosh i haven't do the sandman kill and i can just do that So is that, uh, I'm just trying to remember the name of that song. Hall of the Mountain King, I think it's called. Vodka. With love from Russia. From Russia with love. Both ways. Wow, stocked up. Should have waited instead of using the stim pack. So much junk. Nice. How environmental of your storytelling. I think there's the other path I should have taken, but that's fine. We'll take it later. Or is this where I went already? I forget. Nope. Rip. Only if they could have seen the, the glowing laser sword. Nice. Book that I definitely need. You know, I've gotten the barter bobblehead already. Did I get the... Uh... I'm not sure if I got the big guns bobblehead yet. Ha! Should be good to know. So I can plan out the rest of my skill points a little bit better. So I'm tempted to force the locks on the easy ones. War book. A little treat. Wonder how good literacy is in the post apocalypse 200 years after civilization. Can't imagine good. Which I feel like should reflect a little on Fallout. Like the writing. I feel like it'd be appropriate if, uh, if the writing style for people would be a little less literate. For the most part it is, unless you're like a scientist with a million IQ, which I guess makes sense. 
Okay, so I guess I don't get in here from there. So that's good. Took the side path already. That's what I like to see. Oh. I like to see those ahead of the time. The time. Oh yeah, 2 XP. Almost there. Try quick saving. There we go. Right, ever, ever more closer to the schematic. Again, so many of the schematics are in that lower uh, southwest quadrant of the map. I would say most of them were. weird about the distribution, but whatever. I guess maybe it makes sense. I don't know. Surely someone could justify it. What happened to you? Oh, he must have, like, tripped a yeah. mine. Oh, didn't mean to pick, all, pick up all that. Whatever. No big deal. I think, yeah, that's probably what happened to him. Really good unintentional storytelling. Hi. It's easier to see mines when it's less bright, of course. So I do think this is the right path, which means I should go the other way. We'll see. Oh. Yeah, probably the right path. Probably fighting Yao Guai. Yep. See how well I do against Yao Guais in this mode. Definitely was this guy with the Chinese pistol. Heard it firing off. Aw, oh, it's sleep. Oh. Rip. It ate its head. Hit that guy's head. He's stocking up on Yagwai meat. Go that way in a sec. That's where we need to go for the schematic. Skeetmatic. I remember when these were an issue. Really does break the game. But in a very enjoyable way. Oh. There's another exit. Cool. Oh, dang. I wonder if this connects to those Yagua caves. That'd be weird. Might. It's just so far away. If it was connected to these Yagua tunnels? Probably not. Different name. Let me just uncloak. I need to give myself a second there. Doing myself a favor and just clearing this all out. Bear. Bottle of bear. Delicious pile of goodies. Alcohol and weaponry. Yum. Okay, I'm sure this section will be pretty straightforward with my invisibility. My 
Cloak of Invisibility. Pretty sure slower with your weapon uh, withdrawn. At least I think that's how it goes in Fallout New Vegas. Fallout New Vega. Street Fighter. LOL. Want it. Okay. I could reach it, but there's actually nothing in it. Pick it up for now, but I might drop it like the last one. AKA hot. We'll drop it like it's hot. nice of them to include that steam gauge assembly for me the inquisitive explorer oh oh was not expecting that schematics might be down there not sure though They are. Nice. Guess we'll try getting there naturally. At least that we know where it is now. So we don't have to really worry about finding it. Done two Yaogwais in these overhang caves. Three Yaogwai kills. The overhang caves? Is that overhang caves? Cliffside caves. Cavern. Did one in the other room. This will be my third in this room, so four total. Getting the Yaogwai meat. Like it's no big deal. This is Wander, but it's not. Thought it was. Wander. I like to believe I dented that can. But it didn't make contact, so. Really didn't. Really dented. <laughs> you can tell it's getting really late. <laughs> Ooh. Nice. I think it's five total. After that count. Five that I would have not wanted to encounter. I think that's all of them, though. Oh, it isn't. There's one left. Somewhere out there. Yeah. Awesome. Where's that last one? It's like, this will show me where a hidden place is, I guess. How'd I miss it? Do I just spawn, maybe? It's a path I just didn't take. Seemingly stuck in the walls. Seems like sleeping. Oh. 
There he is. Yeah, he's definitely stuck in the walls. Poor guy. Help him out. I had a feeling he was somewhere that wasn't valid. Sweet. Well, good, good, jolly good. Jolly good at that. I feel like there's definitely something that we were supposed to read that we didn't in our inventory. So I'll do that before we call it a night. Get out of here. Then uh, maybe sell off the junk in my inventory so it'll be clear for the next time. And we'll do stealing independence next time, maybe. That's my plan at least. Before I decide arbitrarily what I want to do randomly. Arbitrarily and randomly. Dangerous combo. <laughs> ah. Got screwed. Is it? Oh, I want to kind of explore whatever this place is. It's between Anne Dale and here. I don't know what it is. Oh. It's like a movie theater? I think so. Yeah, it definitely is. It's drive-in theater. Wasn't expecting me to be invisible, were you? I feel like most people wouldn't expect someone to be invisible. Okay, I was worried about the literacy rate, but maybe I should just be worried about the... the regular intelligence rate here, with everyone not being able to see me. This, this shimmering outline. I guess it would be hard to see, but, you know, it's kind of still there. It's completely invisible, and it's like just the game's representation of, you know, of, you know, how it's supposed to be invisible. Ooh. Oh, I forget that they have that cool, like, they have, like, the welding mask on part of their armor. It was, like, on their, uh, the wrist, like where a pit boy would go, instead of uh, instead of some like whatever they have there, some sort of guard. There's a chair up there. Curious to see what's up there, just for fun. Oh, Doge. Doge worth. Goodbye. Oh. No, I can't even sit here. It's a nice view, though. Very pretty. save on this invalid space. Unvalid space. There, now it's fixed. Cool. Got a lot more locations around here. Getting ever closer to little lamplight. Definitely forgetting like all the places that I like, I haven't, like, been keeping an active track track of, uh, things I've, like, either visited or just, like, touched to get discovered, unfortunately. For the most part, I've tried to be good about it, but... I know there's a handful that have slipped through. Oh, well. Sure. I'll Wikipedia all of the places. That's fun, too. Uh-oh. 
missed one. Probably a dog. No, it's just a guy. Okay. He's just late to the party. Duck's right in time, I guess. Okay, I guess this would be kind of hard to see. Not the sword, though. The sword would kind of give it away. It would actually look this glowy. Yeah. Ah. Oh. I wish there were Thank more you. people like it's Max Barter. Wow. No, di no sword diplomacy with crow. Trade? Have a nice. look. See if anything calls out to you. Good to see he has a lot of caps that I can buy off of him. I think I'm going to retire the A321's plasma rifle for now. I'm going to put it back in my, in my locker. Just put it in my locker. Don't know if putting it back would be the right term there. Don't know if I kept it in there much. I think I did for a little bit in the early stage days of it. You know that lady wanted vodka for the pies, but I'm not really gonna make those. Can you fix? Thanks. Let. Sure. Goodbye. Stay safe. Thank you. Is this quicker? I think it's already not as quick as me just turning around and going. Would've been a cutscene anyway, a loading screen. So. to like repair my junk too. Oop. Before I call it a night. How may I serve you, master? I want to get them all back now. I'm gonna drink them all. Next stream. Be there. While I sip. Oh, I'm tempted to, I think I might do all these right before, actually. Or last thing tonight. Turn all the scrap metal. I hope things are going well with you today, sir. When words fail, there's always fists. Wow. Uh, I do have the big guns one already. And barter. Yep. Oh, but I don't have the melee weapon one yet, I think. Okay, that's cool. Definitely be able to max out melee on its own without needing uh, extra help. Also, I'm sure I would have found three more books. Big guns, barter. Unarmed doesn't need the help probably either, so just these two are the main ones. I'm gonna try filling up with my level up. How much would that be? Uh, 13 plus 14, 27. Close to being all my, all the level up points. Nice. Got eight pounds, goodbye. Maybe six pounds with these two. Those ten, so I'm gonna put two away. Too cool. Too cool. Put you away. Put those two away in a sec. 
put away three of them because I'm really going to need them less and less now. Uh... Compare and damage. I hope things are going well with you today, sir. Got anything in there? I do. That's the LinkedIn stuff. Just remembered. Uh, I should be well. I mean, if I really need it. If I really need to be well rested, but I am good. Wow. Four thirty stems. Oh, I st fuck! Forgot about those. Brick. I think I see Walter. No. He's probably in his house. Or his shack. The water treatment facility. Plant. Mmm, plant. Um, huh? Yeah. Well, alright. Hog. It's more than the Moy request. Classic Fallout. Wow. Just a quick little, uh, let's do a little save here. I'm gonna just quickly check that list we got going that I was mentioning. So, yep, Yagwai Cave, so that's Nuka Cola's level 3. The last thing is the railway rifle. So, all of these are currently at schematic level 3, except the railway rifle. So, it's that. They're all maxed out. I can make as many as I want. Get the max amount of all of them. So cool. Especially the bile cap mines, that's where they're that's where I really like all that to be. All my crafting going toward those specifically. So rare when I'd ever need three plus three endurance, but sure, I should use these more often. Same with perception, because why not? Cool, cool. 17 Yaogwai meat. They're one pound each. Not mistaken, yeah. Put 10 away. Still need to sell all those someday soon. Need to find a way to get rid of all these. Uh, I'll take 22 of them with me. Yeah, have all those to get rid of too. Nice, lots of lots of cherry bombs. Need those for my bottle cap mines if I ever want to make them. Oh, cool. I'm pretty pretty even actually on bottle caps to ch uh to ch cherry bombs to uh to lunch boxes. Definitely a way over qualified with the sensor modules for them. So I can make at least 42-ish of them. Well, 42 times 3, so 126 of them. Oh, God. A little clean inventory. There's hardly anything in here. Can't get rid of that. 
It's always... This has been taking up seven pounds this whole time. I'm kind of thinking maybe I should put it away. I really don't need all that extra healing. Making big decisions here today. Right before going to bed. Yeah. Wow. Actually putting away the sanitizer. Seven pounds of it. 780 and 98 damage. Whoa. This explosive. I don't know if the reserv reservist rifle is worth keeping on hand. Can't believe it doesn't iron sight. Even though it has iron sights. I'm, it probably wouldn't look that great anyway. The, the iron sight it has. Just thinking of replacing this, maybe. S40. I wasn't maxed out one of these two. Speaking of, th I just think of things that would be like scoped. Uh, this is near forty. It's a six bullets instead of just the three. So it probably does more damage actually, more DPS. At the expense of being the. Uh, I mean, it's like the only good thing about it is that it's scoped, but it's at the expense of the same ammo as the Lincoln's r repeater thing. Oh no, attempted to replace this. Just need to upgrade that sometime. When it comes to all these things that are super upgraded, that thing is pretty relaxing. All the weight and everything, and low clip. Okay. 26 mini nukes. Gotta start using those more. Oh, can I... Good morning, sir. Speaking of purified what? water. Yep. Yep, let's do another save here. So we made a lot of choices. Oh. Okay, whatever. I'll start the next save with this out, sure. Yep. Very fun. I'm just stalling right now because I love playing this game. Uh, Stealing Independence. National Archive. Where will that be? Do you know where that will be, chat? The National Archives are over here. Nice. It's across from the Museum of Technology. Don't even know where the Capitol building is, but I think I have it marked somewhere. Or not. No, yeah, it's, it should be over here, I think, but this is the... This is the... yeah, this side of it. I know if I teleport here, the Capitol building will be right here. Okay, anyway. Woo! Thanks for hanging out, everyone. Had a great night. See you in the next one. Thank you for hanging out. Bye-bye.